Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Dr. Muhammad Nuzamin Hazan and today I am going to describe the treatment of pyometra in canines and the cattle. So I would like to differentiate the difference in the pyometra of the canines with the cattle and we'll start with the treatment of the cattle. So what actually the pyometra is? It is the accumulation of the pus in the uterine horns along with the persistence of the CL in cattle. So it may resemble a pregnancy of about two to three months. So there are various points you can use to differentiate the pyometra from pregnancy. Number one, there is joy appearance of the uterine horns. Number two, the uterine endometrium becomes thick. Number three, the swelling, it is stopped after a certain, uh, certain, you can start a certain size. For example, if it's a pregnant of three months, after the, after the fourth month, in case of pregnancy, there is increase in the size of the uterus. But in case of pyometra, this doesn't happen. So most of the time, uh, I have seen a maximum swelling up to three months, and then it is stopped. Hmm. Another important thing, when we talk about this pyometra, Remember that in case of pyometra, there is no systemic illness in case of cattle. It's quite fine. The trimeter intake is fine. The body condition score is fine and nothing's wrong with the cattle. Except only one thing that she doesn't conceive. She doesn't come into heat. So the cycle is stopped in case of this uh, cattle pyometra. So remember this thing that the cycle is stopped in case of cattle pyometra because there is persistence of the CL. So, how would we treat the condition? Number one, first of all, we have to evacuate the pus. For that, we need to uh, we need to go for the lysis of the CL, and for that, we use this uh, prostaglandins. So, in Pakistan right now, we have uh, chloroprostinol sodium available in the markets. There are two type of chloroprostinol sodium. One is uh, the T chloroprostinol and the other one is the L chloroprostinol. So liver rotatory and the dextro rotatory. When we talk about this uh, D chloroprostinol sodium, it's a delmazine. So 150 micrograms is sufficient for the lysis of the CL, like 2 ml. And if we talk about this L chloroprostinol sodium, this is a liver rotatory chloroprostinol sodium and 2 ml is sufficient like cyclomate. This is a, an example of liver rotatory chloroprostinol sodium. So it is better to repeat the injection after 24 hours because it increases the degree of the lysis of the CL. So after two to three days, animal will start pushing the pus out and within two to five days, it will have expelled the maximum of the pus from the uterine hands and the size will be somewhat regained, the original size. So then the next step is we have to go with the intrauterine administration of the antibiotics and the most important and result oriented antibiotic is the oxytetracycline. So we give oxytetracycline and I would recommend you to go with the oxytetracycline PVP because it's not irritant. So we can use like a, a product, a very good product that I use that is Navacine. You can use Oxifer. So 100 milligram per ml is the concentration of the product. What you have to do is to take 30 ml of this Navacine or that Oxifer and mix it with 30 ml of the normal saline. So you are going to give 3 grams of the oxytetracycline into the uterine horns for consecutively 5 to 7 days depending upon the infection. And after that you are going to miss the next cycle because the endometrium requires about 30 days to get repaired. So you have to miss the next cycle and in the very next cycle you can inseminate a cattle. I hope so. You will have very good conception rates inshallah. I have seen so many cases. So so what is the difference when talk about the pyometra in canine? So remember one thing. In case of bitches, I am particularly talking about the bitch. In case of bitches, there are four stages of the estrus cycle. One is a proestrus, then is the estrus, the next one is the diestrus and the other one is the anastrus. So this is a diestral disorder in case of when we talk about the canine pyometra. I repeat, canine pyometra is a diestral uh, disorder in case of bitches. So what actually happens? When a cattle is under the dominance of the progesterone, 
then what happens there is increase in the size of the endometrium so we call it this endometrial hyperplasia so under the dominance of the progesterone the contractions are not there when you talk about the uterine contractions it makes the uterus quiescent so when the bitch is under the dominance of the progesterone the glands increase in size if there is some infection out there that will start expanding leading to a pyometra so this is the difference that in cattle the cycle is stopped but this is not the case with the canine it is a problem of the diastole bitch when we talk about the canine pyometra so what how we have to deal it there are two types of canine pyometra. One is the open cervix pyometra, and another one is the closed cervix pyometra. In case of open cervix pyometra, the cervix there is some discharge you can see coming out of this uh, vagina. So what we have to do, you have to treat the condition like we have to give this uh, two three prongs approach that we usually use. But I would go with the definition of the closed cervix pyometra first. In case of the closed cervix pyometra, what happens? The pus doesn't come out, it stays inside. So it may lead to septicemia, it may lead to even sometimes the uterus may rupture if you are getting some, some sort of uterine contraction contractors, it may lead to peritonitis, it may lead to hypersalivation, it may lead to hyperurination, so it may lead to increased thirst. So all these symptoms they can come across with the pitch. So what you have to do, remember one thing. We have to evacuate the, evacuate the pus first, but most of the times when you talk about a closed cervix pyometra, we recommend the ovarian hysterectomy to save the life of the bitch. But if, if, if you don't want to remove the uterus, you want to take some risks and get ready, then you, there are other steps we can do. Number one, we can use a steroid, antiprogesterdenic steroid, that is the LG Preston. But unfortunately, this is not available in our market. In Pakistan, this product is not available. So the next option is the use of this clobrostinal sodium to evacuate the past. Remember one thing, the clobrostinal sodium is a very potent uterine contractor in case of bitches. But it's a poor uterine contractor in case of bovines. We can exceed the dose. We can increase the dose in case of bovines, but we cannot take the risk in case of canines. So what we have to do, we start with using a very small dose and we keep it uh, using through subcut route for consecutive five to seven days. So what to do? As you know, when the uterus contracts, the pus, the infection can go either way. That's just, I mean to say it can go out through vagina and it can even go to the flop in tube. So what we have to do before the start of the treatment, we start giving the antibiotics. So if it, that infection travels with the flop into, we have the antibiotics in the circulation. So I would recommend the various antibiotics. So I'm more than happy with the results of canamycin. So an injection of canamycin one gram, twice a day for consecutive nine days, I would recommend uh, for the treatment of canine pyometra. So when you have started the antibiotic therapy, after two days, you start giving this uh, uh, prostaglandin. So I would recommend you uh, this d cloprostinal sodium like Delmazine. So what you have to do, you have to take 0.1 ml of this cloprostinal sodium uh, and you have to inject through the subcut root and then keep on observing the animal. If it shows any signs of the side effects like there can be hypersalivation, there can be increased respiration, there can be defecation, uh, time and again, there can be hyperurination. You have to observe all these facts. So, the next day, we have to increase the dose to 0.15, and the next day, you have to increase the dose to 0.2 ml and then keep it up at 0.2 ml and continue this treatment for about total of about seven days. So, this is a set of treatment when you are going to treat a case of canine pyometra and then the cat this bitch will enter in the next stage that is uh, if you have just uh, diagnosed a condition right in the diastrus then she will enter into the next phase that is the anastrus and then after some period of time she will show heat again and there are very pretty good chances of conception in either of the case like if it is bovines or if it is canines i hope so you have uh, liked the video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thank you very much